Okay, so I messed up. This is my uh, 3D printer, and somebody let the ladder drop on it, and I broke this piece up here. Luckily, I had printed a replacement part before, so I'm going to have to take apart the printer and replace the part. Pretty simple. Let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to have to do is remove the timing belts. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Oops. Yeah, that wasn't the best idea. Okay, so I only need to remove this top part. Uh, this whole section just lifts up and it leaves these. Uh, so I'll just undo these. And three. Uh, sorry if you hear a kind of a clinking now noise in the background. That would be the radiator that I'm pretty much sitting on because it's so cold. And there we go. There is the top of my printer. Taken off. Okay, no, we don't need this, so I'm only messing. No. I'm not going to destroy my 3D printer. That would just be stupid. The next thing that I have to do is I have to remove all of these bolts in here, and then everything will come apart. Okay, alright, now I'm going to start taking apart this top section. I'm not going to loose, or I'm not going to take out the bolts because it just makes things more difficult. Just loosen them enough so that they can slide out. Now, I need to get to these ones inside in there and the allen key doesn't fit so I have to take these pulleys out luckily there's just a, a bolt inside there that I can just undo you can see there if the camera focuses on it that's the broken part the uh, ladder dropped and it just broke the plastic Grab it with the pliers. I know I could use the drill for this, but it's overkill. Also, I might strip the bolts. And that would be good because right now I don't have replacements. Okay, first pull these off, and I'm just going to throw all the parts into boxes so that I don't lose them. Second one. And off with the second one. Don't lose the uh, parts, put them in the box. Last one. Okay, now I have access to them. I'm just going to get the Allen key and loosen them up.
there we go. It's all a pack. Just this one left now. So my printer is a Micromake D1, and it's just made using these, uh, I don't know what you call them, I think they're V-slot, uh, aluminium beams, and then just these uh, square nuts slide into them, like that, and then they're just kind of kept in place that way. Now, those two are okay, but it's this one that I'm after. This is the broken one. So I gotta take all of the bolts off this and then put them onto this one. It is a different color, but I don't really mind too much. All I care about is that it works. Okay. Oh wow. Turns out that actually two of them are after breaking. Well that's not good. The third one seems to be fine, but it turns out that I'm actually going to need to replace two of these today. I guess it's a good thing that I have two replacements. Now, there's a really interesting way in which this printer has to go together. I learned this the first time I built it a year ago. That took forever. But you have to basically have three three of these parts. So you do that, that, and then like that. And then you kind of just slide them all together at once. If you try to do it any other way, they won't actually fit together. It's quite strange. All right, so now I have the three done and it's almost time to put them all together. Like that. I just need to add the bolts there and there, on both of the 3D printed ones. Okay, now, all three of them are ready to go. So I shall start putting them together. Okay, so, it's finished, this part. All of it is put back together with the, the new 3D printed parts. The next thing that I've got to do is attach it back onto the 3D printer. The best tool there is. So inside of this, the gap that the uh, the beams are supposed to slide into is slightly too small. That's not good. I'm gonna continue just whacking it with a hammer. And I'll see if I can get it, maybe, to uh, work. Yep. Okay. That worked. Pretty well. Uh, yeah. Now that that's done, I next have to attach these belts back on. Alright. It's finished and repaired, mostly. Um, I think it's really cool that you're able to uh, 3D print parts for your 3D printer. And even 3D print full 3D printers, almost. Unfortunately, this isn't actually completely finished or fixed. Um, this is the hot end that goes in there. It heats up and melts the plastic, but unfortunately it's it's broken. 
and uh, I can't fix it with the tools that I have here so I've had to order a new one so I'm gonna have to wait for that to come in before I can use this thing so for maybe two weeks or three weeks I won't have a 3d printer unfortunately so sad anyway I'll be doing electronics and stuff like that so yeah alright I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you next time